All right, guys, so with the update with Rebel Cookie as well as four different magic candies, I'm going to be updating the PvP tier list before the third anniversary so that you guys exactly know what's going on. And then also uh, so that you guys can kind of prepare yourself for the third anniversary as well here, uh, you know, kind of seeing how the meta is and then how the meta might change uh, within the next six days before the update actually takes place. All right, now uh, just keep in mind that this is going to be based on my opinion as well as my experience and then... You know, some servers might kind of differ in the meta and the cookies that are being used here and there. And also, just keep in mind, um, you know, if you guys really want to see the entire tier list, you can honestly skip all the way to the end and then you can see it. But you'll just be missing out on the explanation that I'm going to be giving you guys for each individual individual cookies um, that I kind of talk about. All right. So here we go, guys. Um, you know, nothing much really changes here uh within the cookies that are already listed here except for the fact that um pinecone actually is going to be in the s tier now uh, with the magic candy in my opinion right now with uh a comp coming out with pinecone kind of a frost comp where it's a in a way a little bit of a brulee counter comp uh, and the reason why is because you use the paper charm and all this stuff and then you're kind of able to focus on the creme brulee uh, and get rid of creme brulee as soon as possible so there is that particular one as well and then uh sadly cream unicorn is not going to be any higher than b tier in my opinion the magic candy didn't really make any real improvement uh for cre uh, cream unicorn just because of the fact that you know cream unicorn's fire damage uh is kind of irrelevant right now because fire comps are not really what's up in the arena um, so there is that. I brought down uh, Blueberry Pie from S tier to A tier as well because, you know, she's just not going to be functioning very well anymore with even more uh, debuff immunity and things like that coming into play here. All right. Uh, so I think that's pretty much all the stuff that has kind of... Oh, never mind. Uh, Shining Glitter also has come down from SS tier to S tier in my opinion now. Uh, so there is that as well. But let's get into the meta now. All right. So these are the cookies uh, that are being, uh, you know, heavily, you know, kind of focus on the arena and uh the teams are heavily focused on these uh individual cookies all right so uh starting off we still have crimson coral we have burnt cheese we have hollow berry we now have fin and Sear up here as well we have fettuccine we have tea night up here as well now again and then we have golden cheese black pearl frost queen snow sugar as well as creme brulee without a doubt parfait we have snapdragon icicle yeti and that is pretty much it. Um, so you guys can see that Stardust is kind of out of here now. Um, in my opinion, I think Stardust kind of, uh, it has fallen off a lot. Um, especially because now we have one-shot comps that are utilizing no Stardust. Uh, we are using triple DPS comps that do not use Stardust. Um, and, you know, it's just like all the debuff immunities and curse protections and all this stuff just kind of prevents Stardust from actually doing uh, what he used to do uh, without all those kind of buffs, all right? So uh, it, it just doesn't make sense for Stardust to be in part of the meta. I mean, still awesome, all right? And I'm going to put Stardust in the SS tier, but I think now in the current state of the meta, in the current state of the arena, Stardust is kind of uh, going to just kind of fall off now. All right, um, so the ones that have kind of climbed up here are going to be, without a doubt, we have Finisir with the Magic Candy, of course, as well as T-Knight. So uh, Finisir, without a doubt, with the Cran Brulee comps, uh, even without Cran Brulee comps, does an amazing job in protecting someone like Golden Cheese or Frost Queen inside of a double tank, double DPS, or even a triple tank. Um, I guess not really a triple tank, but uh, Icicle Yeti comp with double um, you know, tank and double DPS comps. Um, and you know, Finisir is just amazing. So that's the reason why yesterday I kind of stated like, hey, invest in Finisir, probably the best one out of the four magic candies that we have gotten. And then T Knight is also up here as well because T Knight's uh, one shot comp is actually back as well. Um, there's different variations of it, uh, different variations of one shot comps too. But I think, uh, you know, uh, T Knight kind of deserve. Eh, maybe uh, I guess this is kind of arguable, uh, debatable. Uh, meta or even SS. I want to personally put it as meta just because uh, if you use the T Knight one shot comp, you are able to climb. So, like, you only need about two to three comps. I mean, I say only, but uh, it's a lot better than having like five different comps like before. Um, but I mean, still kind of a lot, but you know, you have three different comps that you're able to really just basically form it as a raw paper scissor. Um, you see this comp, you use another comp. You see another comp, then you use the other comp. You know, it's like a 
you know, you, you really just see the defense team. Oh, that that's a paper. Then you go with the scissor. You know, it's stuff like that. So uh, T9 one shot comp, I think it's amazing. There's different variations again that doesn't use T9 um, in it as well. But, you know, uh, for the one that I've seen and one that I've tested out, T9 one shot comp is amazing. So pretty much uh, these are the two cookies uh, that has come up to the meta tier. And then, of course, uh, with uh, start is falling off the meta as well and then now moving on to the ss tier are pretty much uh bataya we have madeline up here as well again we have queen of man i think moonlight uh we have sea fairy we have sherbet here we have stardust here captain caviar and rebel with uh you know frill jellyfish and lastly pure vanilla so you can see that the rebel cookie is up here i personally didn't think rebel is going to do too much inside of the arena but that has definitely changed uh with a lot of different one shot comps actually revolving around rebel so everybody who said hey hyrule rebel one shot i think it's possible you guys were totally right and i was um you know uh, really surprised of different variations of it coming out and the the fact that the reason why rebel works and why olive doesn't work is because rebels is all types of damage while you know uh, for olive it's an elemental type so it's a little different and it doesn't work out and I mean, there's no rng as well uh, so there is that um captain caviar absolutely a crazy 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 damage dealer right now with the magic candy uh just gets better and better and better once you get up to 10 20 and 30 uh so definitely a crucial member of the one shot comps right now um i brought up queen of man as well as madeline up here because um there are viable uh you know replacements for someone like you know fettuccine sometimes even burnt cheese uh, sometimes Hollaberry for the Crime Belay comps. Uh, so those are two really, really solid, viable uh, replacements. And they actually do uh, function really well too. And a lot of people have found success using those two particular cookies uh, instead of, again, someone like, you know, uh, someone like Burnt uh, burn Cheese or Fettuccine or Hollaberry inside of the team or even Parfait as well. Uh, and then we still have the classics, you know, Moon Knight, Sea Fairy, as well as Sherbet and uh, Stardust. So these are... Uh, you know classics they're still gonna be there and then we still have pure vanilla up here for jellyfish again just for the one shot comps uh real jellyfish can't really disappear right now because of the ensnare that that one second start is just so good preventing cookies from doing anything uh so there is that uh but we also do have a tie hopefully um you know we do see more dragon cookies come out into the meta um more legendaries hopefully uh come out as well uh now we are having two ancient cookies uh back to back uh you know with a with a couple months gap but back to back ancients that are coming out so we'll see how that goes but uh, that is pretty much going to be it guys um sadly again cream unicorn didn't really make any difference pinecone kind of went up from a tier to s tier in my opinion and then uh you know fitness here absolutely amazing captain caviar I would personally say, you know, uh, if Captain Caviar had a little bit of like even damage resist buff, I think he could have definitely become meta as well as a solid, solid damage dealer for uh, as an epic cookie. Uh, but that didn't really happen. It was just more of a damage reflection uh, that was kind of added. I, I don't know what that point was when he just absolutely get nuked um, by the Red Velvet Dragon because of his sheer amount of damage. So. Uh, but that is pretty much it, guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I'm super excited for the third anniversary and seeing what kind of changes they're going to bring. Um, not only to the meta, but entire game as well. And hopefully um, a lot of quality of life changes also gets added for the third anniversary so that, you know, we're not overwhelmed with new updates. Uh, we're, uh, it's easier to prepare and easier to adjust uh, rather than just throwing out stuff without fixing the, you know, uh, smaller problems that can cause uh bigger problems down the line anyways guys thanks for watching again let me know down in the comments below what you guys think any uh you know changes suggestions um you know comments everything can be you know said as long as you guys are being respectful to each other but anyways guys i'll update you guys on the pve tier list soon as well thanks for watching and i'll see you guys all on the next one